Hey, what's up guys? Winston here from Funky Kit. So in our last video, we did a quick unboxing of the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero All-in-One Cooler. So in today's video, we'll be mounting this into our test rig and we'll be using an Intel Core i9 uh, 10900K along with a NASROG Z490 motherboard. It'll be interesting to see how this CPU cooler will perform, especially when we overclock the Intel processor to uh, 5.4 gigahertz on all cores. I'd love to see the temperatures. The thing is, will this CPU cooler get the CPU temperatures down to 10 degrees or lower? Let's find out and uh, build up a test system will soon a bit. When I first saw the prototype of Cooler Master's thermal electric cooler back in a Computex 2018, I was super excited and I couldn't wait for the final product to be released. It's now 2021 and they finally released the Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero AIO cooler in collaboration with Intel featuring the cryo cooling technology. It's the only AIO cooler that I know of that uses thermal electric cooling, so well done to Cooler Master for that achievement. And now for the most important thing, and that's cooling performance. With Intel's cryo cooling enabled, the Master Liquid ML360 Sub Zero does an excellent job of cooling the uh, Intel Core i9 10900K to a cool 21 degrees Celsius, with full load temperatures reaching a high of only 65 degrees Celsius. What's intriguing is the unregulated option on the uh, cryo cooling software, which disables the safeguards controlling the thermoelectric plate, allowing it to draw more power to feed it. With unregulated switched on, the temperature is plummeted to a chilly 4 degrees Celsius, with each core hitting minus double digits. At this temperature, condensation was sure to set in. So has Cooler Master answered and satisfied my wishes? Yes. Can it help with overclocking? Well, surprisingly yes. I was able to overclock the Core i9 10900K to a new high of 5.5 GHz on all 10 cores, with a full low temperature reading of only 65 degrees Celsius. Apart from the risk of condensation, there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of. Running a thermoelectric cooling can be extremely power hungry. 
and in this case of the Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero, it can consume a total power consumption of up to 200 watts. We recommend a minimum power supply of 850 watts or higher. The Cooler Master Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero AIO CPU cooler is not for everyone. Some of you might think that the thermoelectric cooling is pointless. There's too much risk involved, consumes too much power, and also you get the risk of condensation. But for the extreme enthusiast who's reluctant and hesitant to go with the uh, liquid nitrogen cooling, this could be the next best option. Cooler Master has surprised us all with the uh, Master Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero. It's one of the best and most innovative AIO CPU coolers that we've tested to date. It offers excellent cooling performance that just isn't achievable by other AIO coolers on the market. And you get all of this thanks to uh, Intel's cryo cooling technology featuring uh, thermoelectric cooling. For me, the cooling performance easily outweighs the cons, uh, so for this reason, we're giving it a uh, recommended award. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick test on the Cooler Master Mastered Liquid ML360 Sub-Zero All-in-One Cooler. It offers excellent performance, but it is quite expensive, a little bit clunky, and uh, quite noisy too. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like, and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget, you can actually buy this via the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews, and hot tips. Oh yeah, hit the subscribe button for more. You can also support us by buying some merch on the uh, streamlabs.com slash funkykit slash merch. Until next time, this is Winston for funkykit.com.